I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. A man and his three young children confirmed dead a week after they were last seen. It's a heartbreaking situation for the family of Kyle Mormon. And tonight, police are sharing more information about their search for the family. We showed you last night at 11 a man's body was pulled from a pond on the south side of Indianapolis in the same area where Kyle Mormon's family had been searching since Monday night. Later, his one, two and five year old children were found in a car at the bottom of the pond. They were identified this morning. Their causes of death are still under investigation. Metro Police released a timeline of the steps taken by investigators once the family was reported missing on Saturday, July 9th. IMPD searched multiple bodies of water because he told family he was going fishing with his children. They also looked into at least 11 tips that turned out to be unfounded. On Monday night, officers were at the pond near Bluff Road and Troy Avenue, along with relatives who were searching for the family. IMPD says Tuesday afternoon, investigators looking into Morbin's phone records determined two areas on the southeast side, which where his phone was last located. You can find the full details and the timeline of the search released by Metro Police right now at WRTV.com. Um, Metro police are investigating a shooting on the east side that left one person dead and another injured. Shots were fired Wednesday evening around 5 o'clock on Wallace Road. Officers found two men shot outside of a home. One was pronounced dead at the scene. The other was taken to the hospital in serious condition. Police say there was a disturbance before shots were fired. No arrests have been made. Two more probable cases of monkeypox have been identified in Indiana, this time in Marion County. The CDC has confirmed 10 cases statewide. According to the Marion County Health Department, the risk of transmission to the general public is low. The virus spreads through direct human contact with rash or scabs or by objects used by someone infected with the virus. The rash looks like small blisters or pimples. Anyone with concerns about the virus should reach out to their doctor.